Hello, my name's Karen Byrne. I'm a principal teacher at Woodland School. We work with learners with moderate complex learning disability. Um, the Way to Be is a pilot project in our school and it has been a very positive direction for our learners, but also for their parents to help them imagine a safe future um, experience for their children. And that joined up work has been really successful. Children have gone home and talked about it. Some parents are aware of it anyway, they came to meetings, but children have gone home enthused and talked about it. And we don't often get that result. Um, it's a clear, manageable system for young people who have social anxieties and difficulties with comprehension. It makes them feel safe and connected, but gives them independence, which is very exciting. It's a positive um, step to take. Hey, hi there, my name is Keith Mackay. I'm principal teacher at Pilbara Park School in Edinburgh. Uh, for many years we've, we've been teaching people to learn to travel, um, but it's using the way to be devices now, then it's bringing a, kind of a new dimension to travel training. Uh, the pupils are hugely motivated by using the new technology uh, and uh, also we can safely watch them where they're going and uh, plan their routes and open up independence for them to be self-travellers in the future. And the pupils can see directions, where they're going, um, so they know where they're going but also from a school point of view uh, I can track them from school on the, using the desktop and so it means I can have two or three, four pupils out at once and I can track where they are, uh, alerts me if they go offline uh, and I can easily give them a quick phone or they can phone the school which we've also tested which is a really good safeguarding point and we can speak to them straight away and get them back online. So they've not been travellers before, uh, they've had a little bit of road safety training through school, through the school groups but not individually so this is the first time a big step for them to travel independently and it's taken I think five or six weeks now with way to be training. Uh, every week they've been building in confidence, building independence, thoroughly enjoying it uh, and as I say now they're now taking their first steps on their journey by themselves. I think uh, they're hugely proud of their achievements and they're looking forward to becoming um, more independent travellers and I guess to and from school.